everyone. This is a quick tutorial. I just wanted to walk you through what it is like to do a TED Ed lesson. This is a new routine for you, so I want to make sure you're supported in this process. So if you go to our class website you, for the homework assignment for today, you're going to see study for the vocab, six quiz, and you're also going to see complete the TED Ed lesson. And it's called what we learned from five million books. So what you're going to do is click on the TED Ed hyperlinked lesson, and it's going to take you directly to the lesson that I created. And so what will pop up in here is right now it's an advertisement, unfortunately, um, but it, it will be the TED Ed lesson. So you'll actually see the video right here in this space and you'll be able to watch it right in here. Once you've watched the video, which is all about um, really word choice in the books that have been written over the last X number of years and what we can learn about that. So right here I've said, let's begin. We're gonna explore the link between word choice data and cultural identity. What can our word choice throughout history reveal about us, and how can studying the data collected from millions of books help us to better understand history and our culture? Why is word choice so important? So we're about to start Fahrenheit 451. It's all about censorship and literature, and they have a very different approach to reading and learning and all of that stuff. So I want you thinking about this idea of words and what is their significance. So once you've watched the video, then you're going to have to complete the think questions. There are three think questions. Two of them are short answer and one is multiple choice. I will get your answers on my end so I can see what you have submitted. Then there's a dig deeper section. In the dig deeper section, I've asked you to go to Google Books Ngram Viewer. This is actually um, mentioned in the video and this is a hyperlink too. So you can click right on here and it's going to take you right to Google's Ngram Viewer. And what I've asked you to do is to choose a couple words or phrases and then study the data. And so these can be words and phrases related to anything that interests you. This doesn't have to be necessarily things related to the class. Um, and then next class, I want you to come prepared to discuss the words you selected, what the data revealed about how often this word was used and when there were spikes in word use, and then what conclusions or inferences can you make about our culture based on the data. And I really just want you to have fun with it so you can explore when words have been used. And then finally, just some parting thoughts. I, I said, I want you to consider the power of word choice and what it reveals about our culture. I also want you to consider what your word choice reveals about you. So thinking about word choice and language on kind of a deeper level. When you get to the Ngram viewer, you can put in a phrase like women's rights, since a lot of us are focusing on that. And then the Ngram will show you the frequency of the, the word use in writing, in literature, in books. And so, you know, I could make some really interesting assumptions based on this graph. So you can put in up in this, this uh, window, this kind of um, word window, you could put in a variety of different um, words. Some of you have been focusing on slavery, so you can put in slavery and kind of see well where the spikes are and what we can learn about that. So have fun with it. Please bring some ideas for conversation in class and remember do our collaborized classroom posting which extends this idea of word choice and what word choice reveals about what's happening in society.